Hello everyone. So we came into the problem because I thought I'll be fixing it and everything will be fine. <clears throat> Unfortunately, what you see is the same motherboard with a dry uh, thermal paste from Xbox One S. Uh, same, uh, same. We just took it apart, disassembled in the previous video. So in the part two, I meant to do visual inspection, and I, I, I did. I did and I'm not happy with what I see this is an HDMI um, socket yes HDMI outgoing socket which supposed to um, which supposed to give us a good signal as you can see these 19 pins here yes all of them here are desoldered somebody placed a new HDMI Board, but they damaged they damaged it they they haven't done the good job and I'll zoom in lower so that you can see yourself a bit clearer okay what I can do is I can just put it straight down so let's grab some I think it's too low for my uh, camera to grab yeah that was too low so let us move out a bit to this part let's, let us try to grab the Okay, better, better. So what we see here, yes, is I think now you can see it more clearly than it was originally. So all these pins have connectors, yes, and I was happy that it came in one piece, but can see that these pins get lags here I need to change the um, the settings it's sort of holding but you can see that it's here it's looking like it's connected to the right left to the right so I can't like I can't trust it yes um, I don't know how um, well actually I know how to check it, but the problem is that how to put 100% faith in this job is we're using what's called soldering mask and we should use the UVB li UV light after. Uh, I'll show you the thing. I've got a red one here. Mm -hmm. And then you use UV light. So here is is a tube yes I've got a red one but it doesn't matter the, the color doesn't matter so what you do when you do those connections you put over these connectors um, those lines yes which are broken and now you recreated them you put this uh, this mask and then you use your UVB light and then you cure it so then it's like on the motherboard yes it's hard well it's not maybe that hard as on the motherboard but it's it's really hard you know so you can't move them you, you can't you know like say they, they are not working and so that's what should be done but these ones are loose and these ones are going to filters next here yes and then uh, some of them are going some of them are going here as well so it is you know, if in order to do it right, yes, um, I'd have to, I'd have to put a lot of heat first, and take out the joints, because you you might not see it clearly, but it's a blob. I, I'll show you the other one which I have here for a comparison. It's like a big blob, uh, because here. It's overflowed with a, with a solder, like literally overflowed is, is just too much. 
You'll see on the other one, I'll show you the other one. Because that's the one which is on this laptop which we opened. And now it's a different Xbox which has good port. Port in a good condition. So you can you will be able to compare. So if you see uh, not everyone can do their job right. Now if you if you can look please we can this this is the original one, okay? So this place that's the original one. You don't have such a big blob here on this surface. And uh, then when you go to these uh, connectors, 19 connectors, yes, you see them, these lines are going on the surface. So if you would use that wire, you would literally cover this with this mask. And then this mask would be not like this, but it, it would be covered. Yes, yeah, so it would be more stable. Sorry, my uh, dust or something is here. So what I'm trying to say, it would be more stable than what it was over there. And then the, the risk of, uh, of connecting these in between each other or running the power on the 19 here, like five volts or something, yes? And that wouldn't be the case. That, that wouldn't be a problem, yes? To run the power through it. And then those filters in the in between each other, you know, they, they shouldn't be connected, these. Yes? So, they should go, um, you know, where's my, okay, here's my, so, so what it, oh, again, some dust. So, if you go from the left side top, this first pin, yes? The first pin. That should go to the last one, no problem. But it should never connect with his neighbor. Neither of them. Only the middle one here, the middle one, the third one. So this one is a ground. That should be only touching the ground. And on the other side of it, same story. Sorry, but I've got lags and I, I'm trying to show you and then it's going somewhere need to work on this uh, I think the frames are frame rate is wrong so what I'm trying to show you is just that you know if, if you've got what, what these people have done I don't know who've done it but I, the quality of that service I wouldn't trust yes if you if you've done it and uh, it should it should work properly and if it doesn't work then the next two chipsets are uh, to suspect and then this chipset here was desoldered over there as well yes so that that's an encoder and that's 159 that's okay 1597 5dp 159 is okay but again um, if this chipset is replaced I don't see the paths so I count I see soldering but it's it's looking like somebody would just preheat it because on the surface all over it you can see signs of flux uh, which helps with a uh, with a solder yes when you're soldering but th these that went only to the orange part yes without the camera without the scope we wouldn't see that so for me this chipset can be still wrong that that chipset can be still faulty and then another chipset which we could suspect as well because we've test drives so we know that it's not a hard drive fault it's this chipset yes and that's only written on it st and and you can you can't say what it is you can't buy this chipset you can only get it from the donor board yes so it has pins only underneath i think 12 pins as far as i remember i might be wrong um, and you can't even properly read those it's PXD838 yes and STG so uh, apart from the brand the company we, we know nothing about this yes so we don't know what it does and so on maybe you know maybe you can google it but you just can't buy them I know because I'm I'm working with other people who are into it and still these people are are not knowing what it is so now the procedure will be to first remove that HDMI 
on the other one, yes, on that on our board. I'll put the back our board and I'll put this one to my place. And so the, the procedure now would be to the other way around. To remove this chipset and I don't think I'll be doing it on camera because of the amount of damage and because of those lags it would be really disturbing for me uh, to go for it so the, the best way for me it is to do it either without a camera or put recording back on when I will have no lags because you can see now the, the state of those pins it's somebody who've done it you know in my humble opinion they they just don't know how to do this job right that's I don't know that's that just that just shouldn't happen the customer shouldn't experience what they've experienced uh, and pay for the service because if they pay you know then I don't think that service knew what they are doing I, I really don't think so if they know what they're doing why they've done it in such bad manner I don't know but I, I wouldn't recommend that service who've done it yes and I, I don't know which service done it some service in the UK hope hope not a private person described as a service but anyways that's what it is so I won't be showing in this part too um, we will fix something else in the next episode but if I'll be able to um, to fix the camera yes so if I will be able to um, to get it uh, with no lags, then I'd be happy to show you this, how to do it, uh, how to do it properly. And if I'll do it, I'll, I'll show you as well how it's done. That's for sure, yes? So thank you guys for watching. Sorry for that. I, I did try to, you know, like record it, but because of those lags, because of the condition of this, um, it just, it just beyond you know value for you to watch it I just wanted to show you what bad service can do and w what can be the outcome of it yes it might be beyond the repair yes to be true it might be repair, beyond the repair and the problem only is that that's not everything I would really not want to see any problems with RAM chipsets but I'll go all the way around the top. the other way around okay okay you can see now so you see these are the RAM chipsets yes these all these are the RAM chipsets <clears throat> now the problem is that you see in between them uh, the liquid so the liquid again is a flux so why you would uh, why you would put flux here if you haven't fixed well the first cause why why you would go for a hustle so again I don't know if those chips are good not good or they overheated them and now they are completely knackered you know it's like dead man resurrection those, exactly because that's that's I think the best way to describe it I think this board will be good as a donor board rather than um, fixable but I, I'll still attempt if I'll if I'll be able to, if I'll manage to fix that HDMI port to my level of comfort zone, then then I can attempt you know other tryouts like those chipsets yes which I've showed you, and then we can take it from there. Then we can worry about those RAM modules yes, that will be the next step but but that that is pathetic that is really pathetic so guys hope you see what does mean how, when you put your stuff in the bad hands yes that shouldn't happen and hope you've got a good lesson out of it and if you're doing it buy stuff and fix your stuff first before you take customer stuff to not make problems and not get bad reputation later on because though these things can be passed over to the customer and then the customer can uh, make you a bad reputation yes so thank you guys for watching hope you've got a lesson of it um, and hopefully you see this blob right now how big this blob is here it, it shouldn't be like that it's too big blob 
did the same as on the other side yes that's too big block that no point to do such big blocks now when i will be hitting it i will use too much heat and there are layers on the motherboard and i can damage it connection between those two layers too now there's many up to eight layers i don't know how many on this board is actually but there is many layers and i can damage and i can just make more trouble than it is worth thank you and bye bye